Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial MSV and today we will try to make this metropolitan photo. So I'm in Cinema 4D, I have version R20 and I have Redshift render version 2.6.36. Uh, I use two video adapters, GeForce GTX 980 and let's start. First of all, go to Video Copilot and check this, this Metropolitan City Pack. You can download from official site or up to you from wherever you like. So when you take it, you will get like this folder. You will get this folder, uh, Video Copilot 3D Models Metropolitan. So go inside Metropolitan 3D Formats, inside, and inside Building with Antenna. And here you can find some uh, Cinema 4D files. So we are going down and take file with City Street Layout number two. I like this file, so I use that one. Uh, double click and you'll get like this, not yet, you have to wait a little bit. You will get like this city. So as you can see, so nice, uh, but don't forget this is Cinema 4D texture. This is not Redshift. So what you have to do and how to do it. Uh, first of all, go inside in each texture and make enable luminance. Luminance, this is night map, whereas you have some, as you can see, some illumination. So you have to switch on like this. More easy if you select all these textures and make one time. For what we are doing, because now I'm going to create, going to redshift, going to conversion and convert and replace all materials. Yeah, you see what is going on now. We have to wait a little bit. It's taking time. Okay, as you can see, all materials already converted. So let's go inside one material, open shader graph and check what we get. Uh, as you can see, I have this material which connected to emission color. Yeah, so if you don't enable this in uh, Cinema 4D materials, you don't receive this result and you have to do it manually, which really I don't like to do it manually and lose time for that. Okay, so uh, usually I don't change nothing. I like these materials, how it's converted, but what I have to do only go inside Redshift material, go to coating, uh, sorry, overall and increase emission weight for 10 just to make it more bright okay so like this you have to make oh sorry like this you have to make with all your materials and it's also taking time select second one and then and like this with all materials okay it is done all materials change for emission weight for 10 and now it's time to see what we are get uh, going to render settings go inside render and change for redshift. Inside redshift, change passes for 32 only uh, to receive result as fast as possible. So going for redshift render view, I have here, but you can find it's inside redshift render view. So select, play and wait. Okay, as you can see, we receive this result, yeah? So what I don't like, first of all, go inside redshift go inside in the integration and take out default light. We no need it. Render again and you will get like this result. So now you can see already some night city, but I don't like a road. So what you have to do, you have to find uh, where is this road and which material connected to this road. So I know this is to this materials. So going inside and just take out this from here, we don't need it anymore. Or what you can do, or you can go here and make it zero. We don't need any illumination from road. From here and from here, yeah? So, like this. Okay, check again, look at this, what we are get. Looks like very nice, but 
not so photorealistic. So what now? Select all these objects from here up to down, push Alt and J on your uh, keyboard and make name like, uh, I don't know, sorry, city, something like that. Okay, it is done. You see, we already have some city and we already have all redshift textures. So what we will do now, now we are going for MoGraph, cloner and put the city inside to the cloner. Okay, we have like this. What settings you have to do inside in the cloner? First of all, change instance mode for multi instance. This is important, yes, because if you use multi instance, your render will be in 100 times faster. Okay, maybe not 100 times, but will be really, really very fast. Okay, what now? Here we will put zero, and here we are increase, I don't know for how many. 140, yeah, something like that. And how many we can do? I don't know, six maybe. So we have some street and it looks like very nice, but I have to receive some random. Okay, uh, make here, for example, 90. And as you can see, every our cloner will have some rotation and it already looks like some small city, only from one city street. Uh, very nice, so it is done. What now? Now we have to take one more cloner and put this cloner inside. Here we can change again for multi-instance. This will be zero and one second. Why I cannot see? Okay, sorry, yeah instance so we know we need only two only two maybe minus 40 to make it from this side but it's, it's really it doesn't matter so we are get this result and maybe we are turn 180 I don't know just to receive little bit randomize just to receive some random little bit 700 doesn't matter so what we are get we are get like this and it already looks like very nice uh, try to render and check how is fast will be so i push render and as you can see we have a really really very big city we can already do some action inside but we don't have any additional light okay so what we will do first of all i like to add some bridge like on my reference photo so we are going for content browser if you are download full version of uh, Cinema 4D, you have this visualize. Go inside, 3D object, buildings, and inside here you can found, just a moment, I will increase, you can found some additional objects. So I use this build, uh, bridge. Double click for this bridge. As you can see, I have some material which I don't need, just delete, create new redshift material, and this material will be with following settings. So first of all, uh, inside in the base properties, I reduce color for 25 only, made it more dark gray and roughness make 0 0.5, something like that. Without any additional, I don't know, stones or bricks or something. Of course, you can do everything what you like, but for my reference, it is really enough. So we have this bridge, apply our uh, material for this bridge and as you can see bridge is really really big so what we can do we can go for we can go for bridge and just reduce little bit size so going for coordinates and reduce for 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 so we have this bridge yeah uh, very nice so what now what we will do now now we add some lights for this bridge and after we are turn it so what we have to do we are going for cloner and inside in the cloner we are at some area light from redshift you can do it here lights area light yeah okay i have here so you have this area light uh what settings you have to do for this light first of all go for area light general and change color for temperature so i like to make something like 4000 4000 temperature 
uh, go a little bit down and change shape rectangle for sphere and size of the sphere make two 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 so it will be really really very small yeah you see very very small sphere um, intensity just for a moment make five and later we will see what we can do and don't forget to make it visible this is very important okay we have the sphere we have cloner put this sphere i mean area light sphere inside in the cloner okay yeah we get it go inside and inside in the cloner change clones for oh sorry change mode for uh grid array as you can see how many spheres we have we have really really too much uh, make it only two so will be 10 now we will see 10 okay okay you see like this yes and now reduce just to understood where is we have and make it little bit smaller pick up okay you see we already have here spheres maybe we are pick up little bit more somewhere here very good middle go on top okay and increase quantity i don't know maybe 20 and make something like that you see yeah how it's going on now make little bit smaller so really you can apply is directly for each position but it's, it's really it's up to you something like that maybe okay so we have it for all our bridge so maybe make little bit white something like that okay very good so we have it and what now now we have the slides what now we will do now we are put this cloner inside to the bridge for a moment only for a moment take this bridge and turn how we like to see it together with our city maybe something like that something like that okay very good so and now we are trying to set up our camera uh, before to set up camera i'm going and i make it full hd picture just to understood what is going on after that i'm going for uh, options yes if i'm not wrong configuration view and opacity increase up to maximum just to understood where is my area view area yeah okay very good so now we are trying to make how we like to see our camera maybe something like that okay very good what i don't like i don't like that area but but doesn't matter we will see we will see how it will be so we are trying to render now and check what is going on so as you can see render still very fast and we already have some very interesting result uh, what we will do create camera look through the camera and apply to the camera protection tag to avoid any movement so now we cannot move if i like to move something i have to go to somewhere other uh, other objects here so maybe we are take this uh, just a moment we are take this bridge together with camera and maybe little bit move we will see we will see how it will be finally okay so uh we have these pictures oh you see i don't like to receive this result uh so i take a, i take this bridge camera and start to move to see what i like maybe i like maybe i like something like that but anyway on the final render we will see okay so uh what else now i create some disk this disk will be very big uh something like that i apply for this disk redshift tag redshift object going for geometry enable everything here i put 70 40 this is standard settings yes uh, for next material so now i'm going for content browser plus and i have my oven redshift ocean sv 
I create this pack, I open C and I take, for example, force number two, double click and I have this material. So now look at this, maybe I will create just temporary uh, sun render just to see what is going on. Yes. Uh, one second. No, no, no. I like to see from this result. Okay, you see, yes, I take this material C and apply for this disk. And as you can see, I already have very, very interesting texture of C, yeah? Uh, now, if I like, I can little bit reduce the displacement scale, maybe for 20, just to receive little bit down result, something like that. And it's very, as for me, very photorealistic uh, C. If you like to take it, you have to go for my channel. And inside my channel, you can find uh, Redshift Moon and Sun materials and Sea Ocean Sky animated materials. You can check to these tutorials and you can find a way uh, where to take and how to create these materials. Yes, okay, it's payment, but as for me, it's really very useful. Okay, going back for our tutorial and now we see this picture. So what we can do now? First of all, as you can see, my city inside in the water. So how to avoid this problem? First of all, take these cloners, take all of them and try to pick up. So first of all, I lock it, try to pick up all these objects. Something like that. So why I cannot pick up together? Very strange. Or we can make something like this. We can put down our water. I think it will be more easy. So just make like this and check when our city will be outside. Okay, it's too much. So maybe something like that. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. So I put little bit our bridge down, take bridge little bit down inside to the water. Okay, very good. So when you are satisfied, what you have to do? You have to create one box. We are going here and create one box. Uh, it's really doesn't matter size of this. I mean, uh, not size, why weight of this box. So we are make like this like this and apply this box somewhere here. Okay, now I explain you for what you needed. Take this box, make it little bit smaller, something like that. Okay, put above the water, just little bit above the water and water little bit down. So what we have, now I show you, we have like this result. Now you can see, here we have some border between city and between water and it looks like very nice. So what we can do now, uh, select it and make it editable, okay? For what? Now I go to H enable, select top H, you see here, yeah? After that, right click and, 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 and H to spline. As you can see here, I have one plus and inside I have this spline. So for what I need it. Now I create one more light, area light. Inside this area light, I change for temperature. Maybe I will increase for 7,000 just to make it really, really very cold. Go down, make it two to change for sphere to okay and apply some cloner put inside to the cloner and cloner here not liner we are take object okay and object to clone where to clone by this spline okay and as you can see here i already have some lights so here we have some transformation. We can little bit move or in this moment I have to little bit pick up. So I pick up maybe for only one or two centimeter, only little bit. So quantity 
um, I don't know, I can take step and reduce maybe 10. As you can see, I have like this, maybe reduce up to eight. Uh, really, it doesn't matter, but don't forget, as much as possible you make this light, your render will be very low. So maybe I use a 10. Uh, now, what I give, what I take, which result, look at this. Sorry for my English, yes, English is not my language. I speak in Russian and Ukrainian, but my tutorials I try to make on English. Okay, wait a little bit, render incoming, and now you will see some result. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I make a little bit smaller to increase the time for renders. Okay, you see, yeah, this light will make me a little bit delay. Okay, what I forget, I forget to take lights and make it visible. Yeah, now you can see these lights will be visible yeah, and I have many, many, many small points. Okay, very nice. So what now? Now I take my uh, Redshift Sky and delete it. I don't need it anymore. So maybe now we will check what we get without additional lights. We get like this result. One second. Oh, yeah. It already looks like very nice. But anyway, I cannot see any sky, any clouds. I cannot see nothing. Uh, okay, how to fix this problem? Again, we go inside internet and try to find like this site, no emotion HDRS. Here you have many, many different and many nice uh, HDR maps. So it's free, you can download wherever you like, night, evening, everything what you want, yeah? So I download one file, uh, name of this file like this, sun A0501, so I like it. And now we can use it. So create redshift lights, create DOM light. Inside DOM light, go to DOM map and pass, select our what we are created. So here we will be a little bit later. Uh, we are going and select it. It's taking some time because this file is, is really big. I show you. Uh, it's 340 megabytes, so it's, it's really very big file but it will give for us very interesting result. Okay, going, render, and check what we get. Okay, we are trying to render again, and this result we are get. Um, yeah, my computer crashed two times. So what I like, I like to add for this um, border, our same material from the bridge. I just take it and apply for this cube. So, okay, I get also redshift material. Uh, so, I don't like to receive very bright sky. Going for redshift dom light, going for exposure, and reduce maybe minus 3. Make something like that. And you can see you have more dark time. So, now go inside uh, dom light. Sorry. Yeah, this I forget to lock and try to little bit turn. So we have this dome light somewhere here, going and try to little bit turn. And look what we get. Just to try to found a very nice result, what you really like. Okay, you see? I like to receive more clouds. Somewhere here will be sun. Yeah, so the sun I like to receive from this area, something like that. Yeah, something like that, so I like it. I like these clouds, maybe a little bit more. And really, really, it's, it's not so very important how do you do it, but it's already some result. It already looks like very nice. So, what now? Now I try to work a little bit with uh, post FX. So now you can already render and receive more or less good result. But I like to show you something with camera of Redshift. First of all, inside in the camera, I like to add some tag, name of this tag, uh, Redshift camera tag. Okay, what we are get here. So mm, where to put? First of all, I like to receive camera focus distance somewhere here okay this will be focus distance okay all other i'm going for 
tag, bokeh, and enable. So now I get little bit bokeh effect. Look at this. So yeah, this already inside in the bokeh, you see it's already not so clear. Maybe a little bit increase just to give you more better result. Uh, but additionally, you have this image to receive more interesting bokeh effect. So I just stop a little bit now and I show you which I found sometime in internet, some time ago, bokeh folder. I have RGB and I have CMI. So I like to use RGB. As you can see, I have these bokeh different uh, types. And how it's working? So how it's working? I have JPEG and I have XR. So I use JPEG. I uh, sorry, I use this open, and you can see some size. Yeah. So I like this three rings going inside, and look at the difference. So now I show you different. I try to little bit render. Maybe I will make this uh, how it's calling yes bucket rendering. So as you can see what I have without this image and I show you what I have with this image. So now I make a copy of this picture and I show you different and really why I like to use this. So looks like looks like very interesting result. Yeah. So select and make it copy. After that going inside the bokeh image enable and inside in the path select what you need. Uh, this file I download downstairs after this tutorial, you can take it for free. Uh, I mean only this one, yeah? So select and open. And now my bokeh will get some, let's say, additional filter. And you can see some result. Now I show you result. Okay. As you can see, I have little bit shift green red and blue and little bit distortion of my lens and okay select again and looks a different standard bokeh and this here i have as for me little bit realistic result with some additional noise okay what i can do additionally what i can do additionally additionally i can go inside in the settings and i have post a fix file yeah so just make like this to receive result as fast as possible. I have some post fix. So first of all, I like to add some bloom. Open and enable. So what we can do now, we can increase little bit luminance. You see what we are get? We get like this little bit result. All our lights start giving me little bit bloom. So I like to increase these lights which we are create on the border. How to do it? We are going for this cloner. And here we have this light. So make it five just to check what will be if it will be five. Okay. As you can see, I have this border more bright and more interesting. Uh, but maybe it will be only three. I don't like to receive very bright because it will be not so realistic. And on the bridge, I like to reduce also maybe up to three because it's really very, very bright. So something like that. Okay, something like this. I like more. Uh, here you can see some additional settings. Maybe oh, you see here. Very nice. Very nice because inside in our uh, materials, as you remember, we are add we are at inside in the overall 10 emission color 10 yeah so for this reason we have very nice emission in this area so uh, also i like to add some streak we are going here Egg. and question yes if you don't have this post fix because some uh, redshift uh, have some different version if you don't have it all these settings you can do in, I don't know, in some additional soft like Photoshop or After Effects, it doesn't matter. So I like to receive everything final result from Redshift. This is like a, my, my target. So we are at some little bit streaks. And as you can see, I already have here. We can change. We can make some lens. Maybe here I will add some intensity a little bit. It's really too much. So something like that. 
and as you can see uh, we are used not so too much time something around 30 40 minutes and we already receive as for me more or less good result okay uh, how to render without some noise additional noise you have two options uh, first of all without any additional settings you go for redshift setting and samples minimum samples maximum change for example if you are make 256 and i don't know 64 your render will be more or less clear like this you will get more really good result yes but it's also taking really too much time or what you can do just to make i don't know maybe 16 maybe 64 or you can go inside in the lights area light here and area light here go down and here you have samples so you can increase the samples i don't know maybe for uh, 32 or something like that but what i like to add more i show you now some of this result what i like to add more to receive more interesting result so uh, now I show you, just make it a little bit smaller. I like to add some little bit fog, yeah, because now this picture is, as for me, it's really very clear. So we are going for redshift and we are add redshift environment. Open, and as you can see, nothing changed, yeah? Why? Uh, because we need some scattering. We have to go inside area light, go to volume, and change this contribution scale for, I don't know, for 0.1, for example. Here we will do the same situation, 0.1, for example. And finally, we have to wait a little bit. Yes, it looks like very, very bright. Just a moment. Okay, it's slowly, slowly, slowly rendering. And we have some additional brights from this light as you can see some additional effect we have some glow uh, so finally try to render it's taking time yeah because now we use also environment it's taking time your render will be really very long if you have not so powerful computer but you will get a really very interesting result so um I don't know, it's up to you if you want to use some additional GI or not global illumination, but for my result, I don't use it and don't increase sometimes. Uh, some comment a few days ago, I received that uh, GI brute force have many noise. So to avoid this problem, you have to go inside brute force GI and increase these samples as much as possible. Uh, when I use it, I use it 1024 and I don't have any noise. So it's just information for you. So finally, today we are receive this result. Uh, if you're satisfied, don't forget, put like, share with your friends and subscribe to my channels. And what I like to say for everybody of you, thank you very much. My channel few weeks ago overtake 6,000 subscribers. And thank you very much for your good comments, for likes and for, um, I don't know, for your feedback to my jobs. Thank you very much. See you next time and goodbye.